A few months ago I made a video what not to fix when selling a house, which kinda went crazy. And this told me something, there are people out there who wanna maximize their home's value. And before you start spending a lot of money on unnecessary upgrades, there are a few things that will give you the best return on your money. In this video we will be talking about those things and hopefully by the end of this video you will know what you should invest your money in to maximize the home value if you decide to sell down the road. I can act smart here as much as I want, but in the end it will all come down to comparable sales in your area. You should ask real estate professional what's the best return on your money if you wanna sell now or down the road. And I'm telling you all of this as a real estate agent who works mostly with the sellers. So my job is to make people the most money when they're selling their home. And I also worked as a contractor and I saw people just throwing away money on crazy upgrades. You see, there is a reason people like move-in ready homes. Buying a house can be expensive, saving for down payment, then paying all the closing costs, moving and all other things can really easily add up. So most people when they move into a new home they already spend a lot of money and that's why it's important to have a home that feels welcoming and well maintained. It is normal that people do not watch YouTube videos till the end so I'm going to start with the most important one which is painting. Okay this is probably the best return on your money when you're selling a house or if you're looking to sell down the road. Of course it will depend on your specific situation but in most cases painting the interior can make your home look much more different. It's the best idea to stick to neutral colors as these colors appear to a wide range of people. If you already have a neutral color you can just put a fresh coat or maybe just do small touch-ups on some spots. Having neutral colors can also affect the size perception of the room. Let's take a look at these examples. So this is basically the same room, one has dark color and one has lighter color. So this one with the lighter color will appear space to look much more bigger than it actually is. It also goes the other way around. This room with the dark colors can make the space look much more smaller. I was just at the listing appointment at the old mansion that had these dark green walls and I found it to look really cool. So there is no one size fits all answer here, but you should stick with what works and the way you found what works and what doesn't work is by comparable sales. When I say painting, I don't necessarily mean just walls, you can also paint cabinets, doors, trims and many other things. Next thing is flooring. Here you wanna be careful and this is the thing with most renovations usually. Once you do the flooring, now you're going to say, oh I have a new flooring so I need a new trims. Now I have new trims but I need a matching doors. Then your wife says we are doing everything anyway so I need a new kitchen with the island in the middle. So all of a sudden you remodel the whole house. But let's say you just want to do floors. So when it comes to the flooring, I mean it all depends. If you have a carpet that's 45 years old, it maybe makes sense to replace it because sometimes these small changes can make the home look like a brand new house. Also you might think about putting LVP flooring which stands for luxury vinyl planks. And it's absolutely amazing how easy it is to install and maintain it. It's also waterproof and scratch resistant. Nowadays they have it in many colors and textures. For example, you can find LVP that looks like a tile which can be used in bathrooms and kitchens. There is also hardwood looking ones, so LVP can make the home look much more different. But if you already have hardwood floors, it's not a bad idea to refinish them as well. Next one is small kitchen upgrades. The average cost to remodel a kitchen, and I won't even say it because it goes higher every day with the inflation, but it's pretty high. Instead of doing the full kitchen makeover, you can do smaller things. For example, painting the cabinets and changing the hardware can give your kitchen a brand new look. I mean, you can just go on Amazon and find a bunch of these fancy contemporary style hardware. And if you have really old kitchen cabinets, you may consider just refacing them. There's a crazy amount of YouTube videos of people doing this and it's amazing what people were able to do with just a few hundred bucks in their kitchens. Speaking of the kitchen, one more thing that can affect buyer's perception when walking through the house are appliances. As we mentioned before, when people move into the house, they already spend a lot of money. Just by changing all appliances with the stainless steel ones can make your kitchen look like a new one. You don't necessarily have to buy new ones straight from the Home Depot. You can buy used ones that are a couple years old or you have these discount stores for appliances as well. These stores sell the same appliances but they are maybe slightly damaged. Maybe the fridge has a dent on the doors and it cannot be sold for a retail price. I don't want to turn this into how to buy discount things video. But one of my friends flips houses and he also has a bunch of rentals. Oftentimes he would find really crazy deals on Facebook marketplace because sometimes people are remodeling the kitchen and they're throwing away appliances that are basically a few years old 
so they can put the new ones in. Also, you can consider upgrading backsplash so your kitchen looks more modern. Next one is increasing total living area. So what do I mean by that? In that video I also said that finishing basement right before selling a house is probably not the best investment. However, if you are planning on living in the house for some time before selling, finishing basement is not a bad idea. Because this adds to the total living square footage of the home. Same stands for attic or any unfinished rooms that can be used as additional space. When we are speaking of adding things, it's not a bad idea to add bathroom or half bathroom as well. I know this isn't doable in all cases and it's pricey, but if you're finishing basement, you may think about putting the bathroom there if possible, of course. One study showed that the more bathrooms the household has, the people are more happier there. I just made this up, but it makes sense, right? And when it comes to adding a bedroom, there is a difference between adding the 6th bedroom on a 5 bedroom house or adding a 3rd bedroom on a 2 bedroom house. Because adding the 3rd bedroom on a 2 bedroom house now it makes it 3 bedrooms so the family can actually live there, right? So 2 to 3 bedrooms or 3 to 4 bedrooms is where you see the biggest difference in the price. Keep in mind that you cannot just finish any room and call it a bedroom. Room codes can vary from state to state but in most cases they follow very similar guidelines. It has to be a certain size. Some states require the bedroom to have a closet space. Again, take a look at your local codes when it comes to this. Let's jump into the next one, which is curb appeal. In real estate investing, there is a term driving for dollars, which basically means driving around and seeing what houses have a really poor curb appeal. For example, if a house has an overground grass, you may think that those people do not care about the property and they might sell. The curb appeal doesn't really affect the actual value of the home, but it affects the buyer's perception. That doesn't mean that you have to go crazy with the landscaping. Here are a few simple things that you can do. Repaint the front door into a nice inviting colors. Upgrade your house numbers, paint the mailbox, trim overground bushes and trees to give a neat appearance. Also consider pressure washing the driveway or the siding of the house. All these things can make your home look much more better when you're walking down the street. Next one is light fixtures. Changing the light fixtures can not only help the room look much more modern, but with proper lighting it can change the perception of the room itself. Again, take a look online, there is a bunch of websites where you can order the light fixtures from. Also, a few bonus tips that can make your home look more expensive. Put big art pieces on the wall. Clean the home and rearrange the furniture. Sometimes people have oversized couches that can make room look much more smaller. You can update the window treatments, door hardware and so many small things that can make your home look much more expensive. Also one tip, if you find the value in this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And also check out these videos I made.